Some southern Indiana first responders are now better equipped to save someone trapped in a car. Martin's Body Shop in New Salisbury hosted an emergency extrication program last night, and Wave photojournalist Mark Wilson was there documenting the training they're learning to save lives. That's good. We don't want to tear the door and rip it in half. It's important for the new guys to actually get their hands on the tools to see it because when it's, you know, 2.30 in the morning and someone's life's hanging there, they don't usually get the time. Usually the senior guys on the job actually get to do that and it, it's not a time for training. This is the time for training. I joined the fire service. I wanted to make a difference. Glass, glass, glass. So, you know, trainings like this where we're cutting up cars, where we're learning tactics, you know, it's very, very real world stuff because, you know, we could leave out of here and, you know, God forbid anything happen to anybody, but, you know, a car wreck could come out. So it's super important for us to make it as realistic as possible and instructional as possible. With my grandfather being one of the, the, the first EMTs in the state of Indiana um, who also started the local volunteer fire department, it, it's just, it's really awesome for that to come full circle for us to bring this kind of training to our local, you know, first responders. They're there to save a life. So the guys from Hearst that have the information to bring to them, you know, we have had access through the National Auto Body Council and it was just important for us to kind of bring the two together with our communities. Um, so that they can, you know, get some good training with the equipment that a lot of them are already using. We want to be better for the community. You know, that's who we're here for. That's, they keep us employed. You know, some of us are volunteers, and that's perfectly okay. But the thing is, we all have the thing in mind is we want to help people. You know, we want to be there for people. And when, when their day's not going well, we want to be the people who show up and make a difference in their life. That's great that they learned that.